All right, everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to move everything over from your external drive back into your internal drive. Uh, now, why would you do this, you say? Don't most people usually do it the other way around and go from your internal drive to your external drive? Uh, well, that's true in a lot of cases, but uh, now laptop internal drives are getting big enough in size to uh, rival those of external drives. So uh, a lot of people want to move over from external drives back to using just their main internal drive to store all their music and stuff. Uh, so they ask, how do we move everything over that's on the external drive back into the internal drive? Uh, well, if you've watched my other videos on how to move everything from the internal drive to an external drive, uh, it's basically the same process. You just do it in reverse. Uh, so I'm going to be going through and showing you how to do this. Um, so on your external drives icon, uh, you want to click on that. And uh, again, if you watch the other video, there's two things you need to do. You need to copy everything from the, your Scratch Live folder on uh, your external drive, and we need to move that to the internal drive's uh, Scratch Live folder. And secondly, uh, you have to copy all your music files from the uh, external drive to the internal drive. So uh, let's take a look at this in two parts. So um, what you're going to want to do is open your Scratch Live folder on your external drive. And it's actually going to be called underscore scratch live underscore. Uh, this is the folder where all your crates and uh, are stored uh, for the external drive. Uh, so keep this window open and then go to your internal drive, open another window and then go to your music folder. And then uh, you're going to probably already have a scratch live folder in your music folder. And this is if you're on a Mac, if you're on a PC, uh, it's going to also be in your my music folder on the PC. You have a scratch live folder right there. Uh, but I'm going to be showing this on a Mac mainly, but it's basically the same process if you're on a PC. Uh, so open a Scratch Live folder on the internal drive, and all you have to do is copy everything from the external drive Scratch Live folder. So just highlight everything and uh, right-click and copy, and then paste it into the Scratch Live folder on the internal drive. So just right-click and paste. And if you get, you'll probably get a pop-up saying, um, you know, something's already named this file. Do you want to replace or not? So uh, you're going to want to replace it. All right, uh, so that's the um, copying all the crates over. Now we need to copy all the music files over. Uh, now it doesn't really matter where you put them, but uh, obviously the most logical place is going to be in the music folder also on the internal drive. Um, so all my music on the external drive is stored in this folder right here, uh, DJ Music, and then I have more folder uh, in here and with all my songs in it. So we need to copy this folder over. We just need to copy the parent folder and everything else inside it will get copied over. So I'm just going to drag this folder from the external drive. This is where all my music is stored. And this is on the internal drive in the music folder. So I'm just going to drag that over into there and let it copy. And just for sake of example and for time, I'm only going to be copying a couple songs. Uh, this is going to take a while, especially if you're uh, copying, you know, hundreds of gigabytes of files. Uh, so go do something else for a little bit and let it copy everything over. All right, so now that we have uh, all our music and all our crates from the external drive transferred over to the internal drive. Uh, let us just eject the external drive so it doesn't load up in Scratch Live. So I'm going to disconnect that. So no more external drive. I'm plugging it also. So now let us load up Scratch Live. And if everything should go well, you should still see all your crates, uh, which I have here. Uh, like I said, I'm only doing a couple just for sake of example. Uh, now what you're going to need to do here is uh, we need to rescan all the ID3 tags. And I'm using the 1.9 version, so we're going to go into the Files panel and click on Rescan ID3 Tags. Uh, when we do that, it's going to rescan all the files, and all of them are uh, going to turn pink and missing. Uh, don't panic. Uh, so as you see here, all the files are going to be pink and missing now because uh, we haven't relocated them yet. So again, what we need to do now is go back into the Files panel. And we're going to use the relocate lost files option to find the files that we transferred from the external drive to the internal drive. Uh, so all you have to do is just navigate to the folder uh, that you copied from your external drive to your internal drive that contains all your um, songs. So uh, that was in the My Music folder, and it was this DJ Music folder right here. Uh, so all we need to do is uh, click on this folder and drag it onto the relocate lost files button down there and it will look and search in that folder and if everything goes well which it should then all your files should turn on pink and you won't have the question mark missing anymore and that's about it really so uh, let's test it out drag one to the offline player uh, you don't have to be connected to your 
57 or SL1 or SL3. Uh, just drag the file, and if it loads in the offline player, then it, it works. So uh, go ahead and test a couple more just to make sure. Uh, but if they load, then it worked. And that's all you really need to do. And it appears all of them are loading, and we're not getting any uh, file not found message when we load them. So uh, everything worked. So, uh, yep, that's basically it. That's how you transfer everything over from your external drive to your internal drive.